Hi guys, today we're talking about personality theorists and the person that we're going to discuss about is named George Kelly. And the reason why I like George Kelly's theory is because he's very different from all the other theorists in that he is very logical and he is very about not what all the other people thought was important. So Freud thought about unconscious drives and like things that happen when you're a child made you be behave and need and act in a certain way. The reason why I like George Kelly is that he doesn't talk about when you were a child, how when your mom and your dad was not available to you, then you were like going to act out a certain way. Or if they weren't breastfeeding you long enough, like you would start to act out in a different way. George Kelly had... A very logical way of seeing things because the person um, he was in an environment where he was working primarily with um, college students and a lot of students so some of the other theorists had people from the backgrounds of like major neurotics or psychotics or like prisoners and things like that but George Kelly worked with a lot of students so he was very logical in his reasoning and um, the reason why I like him is because I'm very emotional and so it's actually the very exact opposite of what I needed to learn from and um, the first thing that he really believed is called personal construct theory so the way a person views their world and the way that they um, see things is what George Kelly says influences people's behaviors and the way they respond to it. So um, say, like for example, I had a boss who's like really emotionally, psychologically abusive and three other girls worked for me, worked there and the first girl just left and the second girl just um, tolerated his abuse and just played games with him and acted like everything was fine um i left after he almost almost attacked me and emotionally abused me and i was depressed for weeks so everybody um dealt with this man very differently and they all responded to him differently so everybody had the same situation and experience with him but everybody had a perception and reacted differently from the way that they viewed life in society. And um, George Kelly, he was from a Kansas, he grew up in Kansas and his background was that um, he worked in a farm and he had a lot of different interests and psychology wasn't one of them. But at the end, um, he became interested in psychology and that's how um, he had these personal construct theories. And so um, he also has something called the corollaries of personal construct theories so you have the 11 different ways of how um different corollaries affected his um his theory so like let me give example experience is we continually test our constructs against life experiences to make sure they remain useful so if we have a certain experience and we behaved a certain way we just know that it probably happened um in that certain way um again but you know also he believed that people should be could be flexible and um he also had an interesting theory about where you would actually do something called like the role construct repertory test and um or self-characterization skits so basically um you would ask close people in your life if you could write a story about me and my life and pretend like you're a producer and you're writing me in a play, how would you describe me? How would you see me behaving? How would I be acting? And so now it's not only the way you perceive yourself, but now say like your best friend says, I would have write you as like a jealous, crazy woman. And you think you're like super like easygoing and laid back. So um, everybody sees things differently. And when you compare it with what people are really seeing, then you kind of like judge and see how people perceive you differently. Another thing that um, George Kelly thought about was something called cognitive complexity and cognitive simplicity so 
Um, he believed that conservatives were a lot more simple and um, liberals were a lot more complex and that people that could see different construct constructs of each party and can adapt to different types of people um, outside of themselves, then they would be a lot more complex. So let me give you an example is that they gave in the, the book was there was a student who saw his teacher as very authoritative and very like ego driven. So the way that he would interact with the teacher is that once he gave him a compliment about his work and he was flattered and gave him a good grade with his work after that, then he always knew that that was a teacher that would work off of like flattery. And then um, he would hold that construct against teachers that are authoritative and thought and very ego driven. And so now that he understands someone who's like that, then he would see all the different characters and know how to deal with each type. And then you would be more complex because you're not just working with one type of, or a couple types of character, but you could work with different types of characters. And so um, one thing that I really want to try that he brought up was actually um, a role play. So um, I'm kind of like more emotional and I kind of make decisions based on how I feel because I'm an ESFP, extrovert, sensing, feeling, perceiving person. My really good friend is INTJ. She's an introvert, intuitive, thinking, feeling person. And when I um, hang out with her, she makes decisions based on the future and how it would affect her later in life and she thinks things through and she's always by herself thinking things through whereas I'm always acting on emotion and impulse and how I feel and how I see things so if I want to role play and pretend like I'm going to behave like her every time I have to make a decision instead of making decisions based on how I feel I'm going to make decisions based on what I think because now I'm pretending that I am this woman so um that is huge because uh, a lot of people have weaknesses in different areas of their life. I'm a true extrovert, so being alone with myself is very hard for me. And so if I pretend like I want to role play that I'm this friend of mine, I will be by myself all the time and just think things through more. So this would make me actually grow in my personality because I'm acting and behaving differently than my natural character. And so why don't you try that? Like, if there's someone that you really admire has totally opposite qualities of you, what if for one day you pretended like you were this person? And how would you think? How would you behave? How would you dress? How would you um, act? And how would that develop you as a person? So this is my test for you and challenge for you this week. Um, just try it out and see how um, it might actually enhance your character. Um, I'm studying to be a licensed family marriage therapist, so I'm reading about these different personalities um, in the Theories of Personality book. And um, if you like this, please like, subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my goal in life is to help people to become emotionally, mentally, spiritually healthy. Have a good day. Bye.